We told you a moment ago, immigration officials continue to dispute reports of inhumane conditions at migrant holding facilities along our southern border. Let's talk more about the situation with Arizona Republican Congressman Andy Biggs. He joins us live from Phoenix. Congressman, great to see you. Good to be with you, Mike. You're an Arizona lawmaker. Are you convinced by the chief patrol agent of the Tucson sector that there are toiletries, food, and fresh drinking water for illegal immigrants being held in our facilities? Yes, I am. You know, I, I've actually been out of the border on a regular basis. I communicate with agents. I've visited detention centers. Um, I, I've seen crowding, um, and I've seen, uh, I mean, they're feeding them sometimes ramen, but they're, they're getting hot meals every mm -hmm. day. They're getting food. They're getting water. They're getting the supplies. Uh, and and I, I, I believe him when he says that they're, they're doing their best and they're, they're providing these, uh, these important supplies to these people. I interviewed your Democrat colleague, Debbie Dingell, earlier this week. I want to play for you her concerns, and I'll ask you to respond. Okay. The crowding situation, the women not being able to take baths, they can't breathe, they're hot, they're not getting any kind of attention. That's not who we are as Americans, and that's what I, I think we all react to this, just what our values are as Americans about how any human being should be treated. Is she off base? Yeah, I think she is off base. First of all, these are holding facilities. These aren't designed to be detention facilities. So if you go to Yuma, for instance, they have a facility designed for 250, and it has about 1,000 people there, although they're, they're moving people out. And so what's happening is well, there's no place to move them because ICE facilities are overcrowded. Uh, and so what's happening is we're releasing literally tens of thousands of people every month um, instead of holding them and that's the alternative if you're not going to if you have no place for them you're releasing them and that's what we're doing uh, we're not these are not Nazi camp, concentration camps these are not atrocities um, they're getting good treatment um, and they're actually getting released far earlier than quite frankly many of us think they should be but where there's no detention facilities for them congressman some news of the day your colleague justin amash of michigan saying he's leaving the gop writing quote modern politics is trapped in a partisan death spiral i've become disenchanted with party politics and frightened by what i see from it the two-party system has evolved into an existential threat to american principles and institutions your reaction well, I, Justin is a friend, and, and I would only say that I, I disagree with him that, that the, the two-party system is an existential threat. I will, I will also say that, that where we're going in this is really the threat is the uniparty, the, the establishment that's been in place for so, quite some time. And for him leaving one party or the other, that's his own personal choice, and he's free to make it. But, but the reality is... We are stuck with this, an establishment. I think President Trump has found out how deep that establishment goes. Uh, I know that Justin and I actually have fought together to try to dismantle the establishment in some ways. It is very difficult. I would say it's the uniparty system where you've got the top personnel on both parties that are kind of working together to maintain the status quo. And that is the biggest problem as far as a, a party goes in this, in this state uh, today, in this country today. All right. Congressman Andy Biggs, kind of you to give us a few minutes on the 4th of July. Happy Independence Day, and we thank you for your time, sir. Thanks. Happy Independence Day to you too, Mike, and your team. Thank you. We're getting a look at new illustrations tonight of conditions in some of the migrant holding facilities along our southern border. They come as customs officials keep up their pushback against allegations of inhumane treatment at the centers. Correspondent Nita Vogel has the latest tonight. This is a combination of toilet, sink, and the sink provides fresh water. Customs and Border Patrol giving a show and tell inside a detention facility along the Arizona border after Democrats alleged inhumane conditions, including no fresh water for migrants being held there. They put them in a room with no running water and these women were being told by CBP officers to drink out of the toilet. Not so, says Roy Villarreal, chief patrol agent of the Tucson sector, who showed a plethora of supplies, toiletries, food, and yes, fresh drinking water, he says are all available for the illegal immigrants in the facility. There's nothing wrong with this water. We're not forcing aliens to drink out of the toilet. 
The latest back and forth comes after some Democrats have called for the detention facilities to be shut down over what they've called squalid conditions. President Trump had a different take on Twitter, tweeting, quote, many of these illegal aliens are living far better now than where they came from and in far safer conditions. The president went on to say if they're unhappy with the conditions, quote, just tell them not to come. All problems solved. But in the meantime, the American Academy of Pediatrics is sharing with the media what they call disturbing pictures drawn by migrant children of their impressions of life inside the detention centers. The pictures were drawn by three children ages 10 and 11 and show people behind bars and in cages. The acting secretary of Homeland Security has been meeting with the American Academy of Pediatrics since December regarding concern for the underage detainees. He says he thinks things are finally improving. I've been sounding the alarm for a long time on that. We had 2,500 kids at one point uh, in late May and early June in our custody, and many of them had been there for several days. An unacceptable situation by any measure. That number right now in our afternoon report is under 300 children in Border Patrol custody. McAleenan is expected to testify before Congress later this month on the status of detention facilities along the border. The president's overall immigration agenda was dealt a blow yesterday when a federal appeals court upheld a ruling barring the use of military funds to go towards the border wall. Mike? Anita Vogel, thanks very much.